hey guys so if you're deep into android customization which is actually the beauty of android i present to you my top 10 android launchers of 2022 android launchers lets you give your smartphone a fresh new look other than what came with your smartphone a launcher can actually give your phone a total makeover from changing the look and feel with different icons and theme to adding new functionality such as smart folders and many more so in this video i'm going to share with you guys my top 10 picks that i believe will fit your personality and daily lifestyle so if you're in with me hit on the subscribe button and let's get started okay so coming in at number 10 is the poco launcher if you're familiar with xiaomi phones you should completely feel at home with this one i love the simplicity and lightweight nature of this launcher it has an intuitive app drawer that offers general at the top for easy category selection. Apps in the app drawer can be grouped by categories and colors. For example, if you tap on the blue dot, it reveals app with blue color icons. Red does the same thing, which makes it easier to search for them. I believe you get the point. The Poco Launcher offers a customizable screen layout, transition effects, icon pack support, dark mode, and notification badges. One of the advantages of using this launcher is the consistent update that you're going to get with fixes and Xiaomi always introduces new features. Overall, I generally love how pretty neat it looks and I think it is one of the fastest Android launchers out there. Moving on, we have Hyperion Launcher. If you love simplicity and you're also heavy in customization, then this is the launcher for you. Hyperion Launcher offers a perfect balance between a clean user interface and customization. At first, it doesn't really look like you can actually customize it that much because it looks dead simple as you can see here. No dedicated settings menu, but once you long press on the home screen, you're greeted with a plethora of options for customization. It has got everything covered. From the dock to the theme, from icons to animations, UI to gestures, dark mode support and more. If you care so much about simplicity with the ability to heavily customize the look and feel of your smartphone, then this might be the perfect launcher for you. But to have all the features unlocked, you might have to pay for a Hyperion Supreme Launcher. I'll have all the necessary links in the description box below. Now moving on, we have Ratio Launcher. Ratio Launcher, this is for people that likes minimalism. If you don't want to get distracted or you don't fancy anything that will distract you from getting your work done on time, then Ratio is the best launcher for your Android smartphone. I love the three home screen style design here. You have the tile page that automatically arranges up under different categories. The conversation page basically keeps all your messages in one place. And the root page features custom cards of weather info, notes, media player, news feeds, YouTube, and more. This launcher does not promise a colorful UI, which might get a little distracting, but I love the monochrome look of the UI and the entire experience. I just love how the app drawers arranges apps in block style and I think it just makes it stand out from the rest. The subtle green accent you are seeing here tells you that you have a new notification on applicable apps. One thing to keep in mind is that Rocio Launcher actually needs to access all your data to function properly, which actually sounds catchy, but the people behind it say that the data stays on your phone and it is encrypted. So if you are not comfortable with sharing your information with the app, you might want to stay away from this one. Okay, now let's move on to our next launcher, which is Smart Launcher 6. This is another lightweight and intelligent Android launcher that I will highly recommend you check it out because it has a decent and intuitive user interface. The app drawer consists of sidebar that arranges each app according to category. For example, we have the contact category, gaming category, services, media, utilities, and settings. I really love how the launcher app changes the theme color based on the current wallpaper. I just love how everything is neatly arranged in a clean and minimal manner. But you know what? Good thing doesn't really come that easy. If you want to unlock all the features, you might want to upgrade to the Pro version. So the next launcher on our list is White Launcher. This launcher packs lots of features than any other launcher that I've mentioned here so far. Yet it still offers a smooth Android experience. The customizable options in this launcher are endless. The home screen offers lots of interesting features like the sticky notes the Dex quotes picture frame, date and time, and some of your favorite apps. When you swipe to the left, some of your most used apps are arranged in folders. Then when you swipe to the right, you have the weather information and then your daily log that carries your photos, notes, calendar entries, bookmarks, and more. 
When you tap on the wire that is located on the home screen, it opens up more settings for themes, wallpapers, palettes, launcher settings and lots more. On the home screen, when you swipe up, it reveals your app drawer. In the app drawer menu, there is an option for applets, widgets and palettes. All of this adds up to what makes the user experience more enjoyable. If you are looking for a decent alternative to your smartphone native launcher, I highly recommend you go check out White Launcher. Moving on, we have Launcher 2. This is the only launcher that comes close to giving users the Google Pixel's experience and sensibilities. This is true because this launcher also gives us Google proprietary Google discoveries, that is at a glance features. It also comes with other features including the ability to change to grid view, icon size, notification display dots and more. On top of being highly customizable, Launch A2 gives support for dark theme, a universal search feature called CSAM, and other pixels like commands. Make sure to check it out and as I said initially, all links will be in the description box below. Ok, moving on we have Pixels launcher itself. As the name suggests, this launcher gives you a Pixels look to your phone. Google Pixels stands out for its clean round edge app icons and that is one of the key features and looks you get with this Android launcher. It comes with notification dots, badges, theme options, adaptive icons and gesture command support. It also offers the ability to customize the UI like the home screen customization, widget padding, precisely designed icon packs, fluid animation and much more. This makes this launcher way better than the stock Pixels launcher. So if you need a Pixel look while also being able to customize some things, this might be the right launcher for you. Ok now, let's move on to our next launcher which is Niagara. This launcher takes a very different approach when it comes to looks and customization. That is minimalism. Niagara offers a completely redesigned and decluttered home screen experience. All you get is just a basic app icon for your favorite apps on the home screen. There's also a handy clock and depth widget. And on the side of the screen, it offers a scrollable sidebar to navigate through all of your other installed apps. Using it feels so intuitive and believe me, it is quite easy to locate apps from either the sidebar or using the search feature. The launcher also offers some basic level of customization like icon packs, theme, the ability to hide apps and even pops up folders. The more advanced customization features can be assessed after purchasing the pro version which I highly recommend. Niagara is a launcher that is just different and very easy to use and I highly recommend it. Ok, so moving on to our second option which is Microsoft Launcher. This is by far one of the most premium launchers available, if not the best one yet. It combines efficiency, ergonomics and accessibility on the go. Imagine having a home screen that displays your sticky notes, calendar and to-do list in one active screen. It gives you a desktop feel right at your fingertips. One of its biggest advantages here is that you have the backing of the software giant that ensures timely updates. You get a clean and feature-rich UI with no ads. Yes, no ads. You get daily Bing wallpapers that enrich your home screen with beautiful wallpapers and also continuity features that lets you pick up from where you left off from your PC if you have your Microsoft account synchronized between your smartphone and your PC. It is also extremely customizable with icon packs, theme, widgets and more. This launcher packs plenty of options and features that cannot be found elsewhere and to top it all, it is free. It is one of the launchers I recommend you try in 2022. Now moving on to the very best one, the number one on this list. I would say that this is a launcher that has unrivaled community support. It is our number one launcher here because it is tested and trusted. It is loved by geeks and enthusiasts and it is no other launcher than the almighty Nova launcher. This classy, stable and highly customizable launcher doesn't require much introduction. It has been around for a very long time. Just like wine, you know, it's getting much better and better with age. If you are a type that always want a stock Android experience, always want the best out of your Android device, then it doesn't get better than Nova. It offers a great user experience. It has tons and tons of support for custom themes, widgets, notification badges and many more. And when you're done customizing everything to your test, you can create a backup file. This makes it easy to transfer and share screen setup with other Android devices. It is so well polished and it is well suitable for any device. But you know what? Just make sure to pay for the Prime version if you want to unlock all its features. So guys, that wraps it up for today's video, my best Android launchers of 2022. I make this selection every year and I'll have links to the previous ones I made in the card above or in the description box. Kindly show your thoughts to me about this selection in the comment section below. Which is your favorite Android launcher here? 
or do you even use launcher on your smartphone share your thoughts let's have a discussion in the comment section below and if you enjoyed watching this video kindly give me a like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the very next one bye bye